stay tuned. Church, there is a cause. Now listen to me. In our families, in our homes, on our jobs, there's a cause. And I just want to speak a word of prayer so that you would understand that it's time to show your authority that you are. You're, you're God's favor. You're anointed. And they ought not like it. If they did, they will be anointed. If you're facing a situation, I don't care what kind of situation it is, and you say, Pastor, there's a level of anointing that I know I need to deal with this Goliath, and I shall. <laughs> hey, that's the point. I, I need you to stand with me. I'm standing first. I am, st hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you right now for those that have stood to declare that there is another level, which means there's a level of demonic warfare. Yet God, he, like David, <laughs> we are sure-footed. And God, we are your anointed. So Father, I ask in every given situation, one situation not the same as another, everyone, a different situation, a different atmospheric condition they have to deal with. I ask that you would prepare their feet to be sure-footed. Prepare them to be sure-footed. Their feet to stand. That even when the enemy wants to cause them to be unbalanced, that you will cause them to be strong and to stand and to see the salvation of the Lord. God, cover them, God. Let them know that you're with them, that the blood upon them, within them, the blood whereby they accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is yet shining forth. And God, you recognize your own. I thank you for empowerment, walking in who you have called us to be, and the authority to have the victory. Thank you for it, God. Thank you for your word that demonstrates that we are the victor. And we have the victory. Thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray and everyone says, Amen, Amen. Overshadow me in the shelter. In the shelter of your Jesus Christ. You can't operate in the authority. Confidence can teach your children the same. Heaven struggles, I do declare. The struggles may continue. However, God will be with you in the struggle, which will make it easier and make you a victor in it. But you've got to know Jesus. The world is getting darker. The world is compromising all the more. Yet today, you can choose to have Jesus come into your heart 
And all you've got to do is say this simple prayer, dear God. Dear God. I thank you for today. I thank you for today. I thank you for showing me the anointing. I thank you for showing me the anointing. That was upon David. That was upon David. God, I know that I am a sinner. God, I know that I am a sinner. And that if I desire that anointing. And that if I desire that anointing. I must receive Jesus into I, my heart. I must receive Jesus into my heart. So God. So God. Today. Today. I confess Jesus. I confess Jesus. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Jesus. Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Today. Today. To stay. To stay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you did that, reach out and let us know. And we'll be sure to encourage you so that you can now be the encouragement that God would have you to be to your friends and to your family. God bless you is the prayer of my heart. Amen. Well, have you learned something? Yeah. Have you learned something today? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I know we have a few of the children, and I don't want to miss them because last time they came after me like, Pastor, God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Come on, children. God has spoken. Now let the church, the church say amen. Come on, girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the church, let the church say amen. Say amen. Let the church, let the church say amen. Oh, yes, God has. God has spoken. God has Today, there are many who have tried to remove the light in your life. Keep shining. God gave us his only son. What have you given him? Mm -hmm. He gave a precious price, but some of us don't even want to respond to it. Who are you following? Keep your oil topped up. That's the truth. That's the truth. Don't let your lamp go out. Time is close. Who are you fighting with? Imagine mm -hmm. about fighting. It doesn't matter what people say about you. It's what God thinks about you. It really counts. Read the part to a life, life of consistent, consistent prayer. Read the part, part to meditate on and study, study the, the word of God. Read the part to obey the word of God in our daily, daily lives. lives. Be the part to share our testimonies and many souls. Be the part to reign in life as kings and priests of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be the part to conquer evil and show forth the love of God in the dying world. Jude 24 and 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to bring you hopeless. Before, Before the presence, presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the, with the only wise God, God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and ever. Amen. Amen.